Hi and welcome to my podcast Film Talk and today I will be talking about the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This film came out in 1975 and stars Tim Curry, Susan Sarandon and Barry Boswick. Um, I just want to say, oh, oh and Richard O'Brien, um, I just want to say that it is one of my absolute favourite musicals. It is so fun and creative and it just has every every little detail that you just need in a musical to just make it so fun and it's one of those classics that you would never get sick of obviously there was a remake of this film that I think came out in 2016 if I'm correct um and there are some aspects of that film which I do like but there are aspects where I think it shouldn't have been made I do appreciate Tim Curry's um role in the in the remake however the remake is called rocky horror picture show let's do the time warp again um and i do appreciate that but i felt that it just it was a remake that didn't have to happen but it's there and we kind of have to deal with it um victoria justice did a didn't did do an okay role like she was really good um, as Janet. Um, however, in the original Rocky Horror, so 1975, there was a scene with a song called Superheroes. Now, from what I know is that in the US version of this uh, film, of the 1975 film, uh, Superheroes was cut out as because it was seen as too dark to be shown um, on the film. However, in the UK version, the uh scene is still in it so if you know the song superheroes from the film you probably watched the uk version uh and they do show that scene in the remake however in the remake janet and brad are like not torn like their clothes aren't torn they're not covered in dirt however in the original they're covered in dirt their clothes are torn and i just think it in the remake it takes away that value of them being torn apart and just have this thing happen to them and have them be created as almost new people and it just it kind of takes that away from the remake but enough about the remake um I was here to talk about the original and I just want to say that Tim Curry did an absolutely amazing role as Frankenfurter and I can't obviously stage productions I mean I'm going to give a mention to Stephen Webb and David Bedella from the stage productions. Amazing. But obviously Tim Curry would, it's always and will always be the original Frankenfurter for me. Um, His voice, he has that quite, I think with Tim Curry, ever since the Rocky Horror, like he has this quite seductive, quite deep, quite villainy kind of tone. And yes, he does get typecast quite a lot. But he just, he has this, this thing with him, this power that can't be taken away, if that makes sense. And it, it was just perfect for Frankenverter. His deep voice just went so well with it. I also found out that Meatlo- that Meatloaf apparently didn't want to do it at first. Um, Meatloaf had a role in the stage production and in the film production um, because he genuinely thought that, okay, what is this film? because Tim Curry came out in his costume and Meatloaf thought, I I don't know. Uh, But Meatloaf did eventually go on to do the film. Um, And the film did flop on its first showing. So what they decided to do was to have a um, midnight showing of the film. And then that was how the, the fans grew on and how it became such a cult classic. It is honestly one of the best musicals I have ever seen I mean Richard O'Brien with the songs he wrote those songs like this came from his brain I just think it's amazing his level of creativity and especially from the 70s I mean no one would have seen anything like this which is probably why it just makes it so like such a cult classic um if you've if you haven't seen it before I definitely really recommend it I mean even Susan Sarandon has said herself that out of all of her films 
this is the one she always comes back to because it is just amazing um to her and obviously like tim curry will just always be recognized as as frank and Furter, but he does have some great roles out there as well uh, i definitely do recommend him in home alone 2 you know clue i don't know if, if anyone's seen that that's quite clever um but rocky horror if you've not seen it definitely watch it uh and the songs are really catchy they are very catchy and the lyrics are clever i mean it is old obviously so it is played out to be dramatic on purpose and there are scenes where you have cuts of janet just going oh no like oh we're trapped here with you know and she's being very dramatic but it, it's on purpose um and it's funny it is very funny uh but just very iconic i mean uh tim curry's makeup is so it just makes his eyes pop so much like so much um and oh i just the minute you see tim curry in the film from the beginning you just get this feeling that you can't let go of and it is a feeling of happiness enjoyment and like you're being light like lighted up from the inside it's crazy uh so i definitely recommend this a five i've grown up with this film uh for as long as i can remember so it's always been there for me but i would definitely recommend it a five and i really wish i could just go back to the time that i watched it for the very first time because i will probably never have that feeling again and that feeling is just one of the best feelings in the world when you find a film that you just love and you see it for the first time is such a precious moment to me um so i think what i'll be doing in one of my next podcasts is i will try to find out from more people what they think of the rocky horror picture show so i think i'll be asking people questions and hopefully getting them on a podcast so if anyone's interesting interested you can you know uh be involved if you want to because i just I love this film so much that I really want to get people, like, I really want to find out other people's opinions about it and when they first saw it and what they first thought, thought about it because it's genius. But yeah, so that is my podcast of today. Sorry, this one was quite long. Um, but stay updated for my, any of my upcoming uh, podcasts. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and I will be doing the, that interview for Rocky Horror. So if anyone's interested in being a part of this, you can join.